Okay, so I wanna talk about setting stop loss orders when you're paper trading options in Weeble. Okay, so shouts out to Mike, Michael, Mike, Stacy. Shouts out to Michael. I had a consult, I had the hiccups. I had a one-on-one -on -one consultation with him last night and we were talking about how he can start practicing options, paper trading in Weeble, and how could he get a realistic experience of risk management and setting your stop loss orders. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. First, I have my account here. Yeah, it looks like it's starting out with 100,000. I wanna make this more realistic. So I'm going to change it to 1000 because I like to start with a smaller account. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to look for SPY. SPY, I like how the MACD looks right here. It looks like it's potentially going to have a breakout. The only thing I don't like about it is looking at the volume. It looks like the volume is decreasing a little bit. So we could <laughs> we could have a fake out breakout right here. Um, So I'm just going to go ahead and set a stop loss order for this short term day trade that I'm going to take. What I'm going to do is <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get a zero DTE option to give it a couple of days. Even if I'm day trading, I'm going to pick three days out. Um, I'm looking at these strike prices here, looking at the volume, op <laughs> open interest, the delta, and it looks decent. So I'm going to get uh, about three of these contracts. Okay. Now, usually for this, I'm going to want to put it closer to the bid. I'm going to go ahead and just change it to a market order so we can go ahead and get this filled almost instantly. So let's refresh. Boom. The position has been filled. Okay. So next thing is, all right, we can see that the market is doing her thing. This is for setting the stop loss. And mind you, this is in paper trading. You can see the PM, the paper money in the top right. So what you're going to want to do is look down here to sell to close. And we're going to click here. Now, what we're going to have here is a limit order. So this is a limit sell order. It's a stop loss. And right here, I love that you can either say 1%, 2%, 5%, 10% so that you don't have to do those calculations. Me, what I like to do is I would look up here to the chart at the top and I will set my stop loss loss orders based on, you know, those support resistance levels on the chart up there, but you can set percentages as well. So you can see, I set my stop loss at 1.00. Okay. And so we can just kind of see what happens with that. A few moments later, boom, our day, we've lost $174 and that stop loss did go through because the market is extremely volatile right now. That's just one of those things that happens, but it's great that you have a stop loss order. And yeah, so that's that on that. So chef out to Michael. And that's how you set a stop loss order when you're paper trading options in Weeble. But yeah, make sure you follow Black Girl Stocks for more information on trading stocks and options.